parents always talk about how teachers need to like keep their private lives private and they shouldn't be talking about like gender and sexuality with their students. Yes, most conservatives don't think it's appropriate for you to talk to children about who you prefer to sleep with. Well, I would argue that's not actually a conservative value. That's just a value in general, right? The idea that when it comes to being a teacher or learning specialist, you do need to establish rapport and respect with students, but discussing personal things like your own sexuality is not needed. It's not necessarily a conservative value. That's just maintaining proper boundaries. Kid came up to me after the end of class and asked my pronouns. I forgot to put them in my little, like, get... Oh, a kid asking your pronouns is totally fine. That's just asking how you want to be referred to. The issue that this last creator, I believe his name is Clarkson, I think I follow him actually. The issue this creator had was the idea of how you moved on to say you were bisexual. And that idea of like, well, the kid asked, what was I supposed to say? That it's, that it's not school appropriate. This is not a conservative or liberal thing. This is just a, a, an education thing. A student comes up to you, what are your pronouns? He, him. Do you have a girlfriend? That's not a school topic that I can discuss. Now, here's the kicker that people don't realize as teachers, as people. Just because a child brings something up to you doesn't mean it could be discussed. There was a, a very inappropriate question asked me the other day, and I'll even share it. My, my students go, are you ever going to get married? And I say, well, I can't answer that question. And they go, well, if you had to marry one of us, who would it be? And I shut down the conversation. I'm like, you can never actually say that again. Otherwise, there's going to be consequences. Stop. And they were like surprised that I got so serious. They were like, wait, I thought this was just like a fun conversation. And all of a sudden, Desi got angry. Why did he shut that down? Because to an 11 year old, they have no idea why it's inappropriate to be like, oh, well, which one of us would you marry? I have no idea why that's inappropriate. But we as adults have to step in and really kind of dictate and maintain the boundaries on what is appropriate talk to the student and what isn't, even if the student doesn't realize it. So yes, if a student asks what your pronouns are, that's completely fine. If your teacher is gay, that's completely fine. But the teacher doesn't need to broadcast. That's the wrong word because it sounds somewhat homophobic and gaslighty. The teacher doesn't need to share his, her, or their personal sexuality with students. In fact, it probably shouldn't happen. Now, this doesn't mean that gay people can't be teachers because I think the same thing for straight individuals. If a student asks a straight teacher, are you straight or gay? The straight teacher should also not answer. It's different if you say something like, you know, do you have a wife or a family? You could simply say yes and leave it at that. There's nothing wrong with being proud of your gender identity. Or is there anything wrong with being proud of your sexuality? But I have an inherent issue framing this like a conservative liberal issue when this is just a work conduct issue. Even a student finding out you're gay, like no big deal. But actively engaging in a conversation about your sexuality with a student is not a good idea. And as from one queer educator to another, especially an after class situation where a conversation like that occurs, can actually put you in danger as an educator. Like you actually don't wanna be having conversations like that behind closed doors. You actually could get in a lot of trouble. Please be careful. I think Clarkson, you brought up some good points here. I, I think we don't necessarily need to make it political. I think that we could be liberal, conservative, whatever political party, and still understand that there is a difference between advocating your sexuality on a platform like TikTok and advocating for your sexuality in a classroom where our job is to be teaching. I hope this helps.